Hey guys, so today I'm gonna be looking at more Am I Wrong stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. My sister runs a bakery business and she's been struggling lately to keep up with orders because she's been short staffed. She does a lot of orders for wedding cakes that require custard or marmalade fillings. And I offer to help her out by making these fillings at home and bringing them to her so she has less work to do. Unfortunately, the past four times I've made these fillings, my girlfriend has literally dipped her fingers into the filling jars and contaminated them because in her words, she just wanted to try some. I've tried explaining to her that she can't dip her fingers in and contaminate the entire batch because then I have to remake it. I said she should use a spoon and take some of it out if she wants to try it so bad but she just pouts and says that she likes using her fingers because it takes her back to her childhood. I would throw the girlfriend away like are you kidding me that's the kind of person you're dating? Ew. That is literally the same kind of people who would go into a store, open ice cream and then lick it and then put it back. Today I was trying to finish some chocolate custard to send it over to my sister really fast because she was running late on a wedding cake order for an important client. I told my girlfriend beforehand to not eat the custard and if she really wanted to, to please use a spoon. I get out of the shower and what do I see? She has her fingers in it again. I totally lost it because this is the fifth time she blatantly disregarded what I said and I yelled at her and told her to stop eating the food I'm making because it's not for her and she's contaminating it. She started crying and got mad at me for fat shaming her. Even though I made no comment on her weight and she has no history of weight issues or eating disorders. I know I was harsh but she kept pushing my limits. Bro, I would have just chucked it out of the house to be honest. <laughs> oh my gosh, I guess I just hate people, man. I just can't deal with people. Oh my god. Bro, if I tell someone something once, I expect them to not do it. If they do it after I tell them the second time, yeah, get out. If someone can't even respect your boundaries even once, that's already bad, right? But this is the fact that the food that she's dipping her fingers in are going to be sent to a client. They're going to be sent to a wedding for other people to eat and she's using her nasty fingers. <sighs> Oh my god. I just want to use my fingers because it takes me back to my childhood. Ew. Like, um, if you want to go back to your childhood, then get a freaking pacifier and suck it. Like, <laughs> she's not making any sense. This just made me so mad. And then she's gonna act like the victim. That already sounds like too much, man. Like, dude, if I had a partner that is like this, Oh hell no, hell to the no man. Like how do you not have common sense to not do this? Like even my friends know to never double dip. Do you know what I mean? People know. It's the fact that this is for like a business. Someone is making money off of selling cake and you're really gonna dip your nasty fingers into the filling that other people are gonna be eating. Like is she dumb? Is she dumb? Yes. Alright, moving on. Quick backstory. After graduating high school, my son moved three states away for college. At 19, he married a girl he met. I tried convincing him to wait because I personally felt he was too immature. They both dropped out and moved back here to his hometown. At 20, they had the first child, a beautiful little girl. 16 months later, my daughter-in-law gave birth to the second child, a little boy. After the first baby, my wife and I noticed our daughter-in-law wasn't happy. We both thought it was postpartum depression related. Just after the second arrived, my son and his wife separated. She would bring the kids over for a visit. It was then she began unloading on us. I know there's two sides to every story, but considering I know my son, I believed her. I sat my son down numerous times to speak with him regarding his marriage. He refused to take responsibility, blamed her for everything even when I directly pointed out where he was the sole problem. They got into counselling. For a year, things were okay on the surface. Our daughter-in-law filed for divorce. My son, three days later, was on Facebook announcing his new girlfriend. A month later, they were engaged. My son had forced his then wife to become a permanent stay-at-home mom at the birth of their first child. She, of course, had no other family or friends here. She knew no one aside from us. She had nowhere to go with two small children. Unbeknownst to our son, my wife and I helped her financially and got her an apartment. Before the divorce was even finalized, we received a wedding invitation. 
I made it clear to my son I would not be attending and they would not have my blessing. His mother told him she would see to it that I would attend. I stayed consistent in my decision. I also asked him not to bring his fiance around our house out of respect for the mother of his children. The wedding happened on February 11th. The night before, my wife gave me the final push. I did not attend. Our daughter also did not attend for the same reasons. My wife picked up the grandkids, got them dressed and attended the wedding. My daughter and I decided to spend the evening with his ex. I couldn't imagine her sitting alone while her kids attended the father's wedding. She was taken aback that I didn't end up attending his wedding. We took her out to distract her mind. I just wanted her to know she'll always be considered family to us. My daughter also made a joke they can drop the in-law status and just be sisters now. She was very tearfully grateful. I realized just how badly she needed our support and specifically on that night. The next morning, my son called me to tell me how much of a horrible father I am for not attending his wedding. A few days later, he caught wine that I spent the wedding evening with his ex. He said that was the ultimate form of betrayal and further myself and his sister would have to earn a relationship with him on his terms only. <gasps> He's saying his father is a bad father. And he's not going to think about himself. He has kids himself. And he's not going to think that he's a bad father. Before the divorce was finalized, he literally announced his wedding. I wonder what his kids will think about that when they grow up. Seriously. Crazy how people can be so hypocritical, but this dad is amazing. He has all of our hearts. I'm pretty sure <laughs> Oh my god, why did the mum bring? Her grandkids to her son's wedding though Really is that really the right thing to do to be able to like witness your dad marry someone else? That's not your mum you know what I mean? Because they're so young. I don't think they need to see that. Why would they need to see that? Why would they need to be at the wedding? But the dad did the right thing for sure. The son can go piss off, man. We already know he's the problem. Come on now. Come on. Not even divorced and he's already announced his girlfriend. And he's already announced his next wedding. <laughs> what? Oh my. But man, honestly, I feel so bad for the ex-wife. The fact that she has nobody. And when she got together with him, he was all she knew. And his family was all she knew as well. And he can just ditch her so easily like that. After having two kids with her. What the frickities? I work in event planning, so I always get invites or tickets to go to high-end events. There was a huge event coming up that I was really excited to go to. I asked my boyfriend three days before the event to accompany me and he said yes. So originally the plan was my boyfriend, my stepsister and myself. On the day of the event, he said he had a doctor's appointment, so he isn't sure if he can still attend. I said no problem and I waited for him to return home. A couple hours later, he texted me and said he has something to tell me. I got worried and called him immediately. I asked if everything was okay and he said he was diagnosed with anemia and he'll have to take supplements. I expressed how sorry I was and spoke to him for about two hours, gave him pep talks, told him I'm here if he needs me, reassured him that I will always love him, etc. I then asked if he would still like to attend the event with me to take his mind off of things, to which he responded that he doesn't like the artist performing so he'd rather go to another event. I said, no problem, I will go with my stepsister alone. He got upset and hung up. I called him back, but he started an argument about how I'm selfish for going out while he's going through something. I told him that I already made the plans with my stepsister and I can't back out now as she's depending on me. I also don't drink, so I would have been the sober driver. And if I didn't go, she couldn't. I told him that this event is the only event my sister really wanted to attend and I promised her that I would take her months prior. I even told him I'll see him the next day and he said be safe and hung up. I got to the event around 11 and spent the entire event alone just sitting down and watching the show by myself, having food and drinks. When I returned home around 2am, I called him and he was awake playing video games. His first words were, look, who cares about me again? I said, I'm too tired for this. And he responded by saying that of course I'm tired. I went out without him knowing he's upset, but I love partying and meeting new people so much that I didn't have to stay with him on the phone. I told him he's being ridiculous and I would have stayed if it were just us who planned to go. He said my priorities are off and that I'm ignorant. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. I kind of get this. So I'm assuming he just wants some like emotional support, like someone to just be there 
for him after he got diagnosed with anemia, right? But at the same time, I feel like he was a bit harsh about it, you know? Like, he could have told her that she could come to him another day and take care of him another day or, like, be there for him another day kind of thing. Dude, I don't ever know, man. Because I have to take supplements too. My doctor tells me I have to take iron supplements and I didn't think that changed anything for me. <laughs> I mean, I just picked up the supplements and now I take them. It didn't change anything. Like, it didn't change my quality of life. Honestly, I'm just confused. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.